NASA's uh, new moon rocket lifting off early this morning. Morgan Brennan joins us now on the long and much delayed flight. Hey, Morgan. Hey. Uh, so fourth time's the charm, Joe. At 1.47 yeah. Eastern time this morning, NASA's mega moon rocket blasted off from Kennedy Space Center. Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis 1. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. The historic launch ushering in a new era of American space exploration, kicking off NASA's Artemis program 50 years after that final Apollo moon landing. The uncrewed Artemis 1 marks the debut of the agency's space launch system, the SLS, which is now the most powerful rocket ever flown. It launched the Orion Deep Space Capsule, which will now embark on a 25-day journey around the moon before splashing down in the Pacific Ocean next month. It's undergoing tests before astronauts climb on board, first in 2024, and then, if all goes according to plan, again in 2025, to actually land on the lunar surface. So check these out. We got the first images from Orion of Earth and of space this morning as that capsule begins its journey around the moon. And Artemis is a major program for NASA. It's also big for the space sector. The agency's inspector general estimates $40 billion has been spent so far and that that will total $93 billion to achieve that 2025 landing. Contractors involved include Boeing, which is a prime for the SLS, Lockheed Martin, which makes Orion, Northrop Grumman, Aerojet Rocketdyne, Jacobs, Airbus. Just yesterday, SpaceX received a follow-on contract for Starship, which is being developed as the lunar lander. Even Amazon and Cisco have tech on board Orion right now that's being tested. And Joe, I will tell you from our producer, Jody Gralnick, who was on the ground at Kennedy Space Center overnight, she said the liftoff was so powerful that it actually triggered car alarms in the parking lot. And just for a little bit of context, that parking lot is a couple miles away from the launch pad. It's great. And it, it, I thought you were going to say triggered uh, tears or, or chills. That too. Or, or I, it's, an, it's an amazing, amazing moment. It's an amazing moment for America. It's an amazing moment for space exploration. And the sheer power of, uh, it, it is great. Morgan, I just had a question. It, I, I thought I heard earlier that it takes two hours to get there. Maybe, maybe that's just into deep space orbit, but it takes 25 days to go around the moon, or do they get to go around a bunch of times? Uh, the, it's going to be a more complicated trajectory. They are going to go around several times. There's uh, the, the way uh, NASA Administrator Bill and Nelson described it this morning. He basically said so far that this launch uh, is an A plus. He gives it an A plus, um, but that they are going to stress and test the rocket and Orion uh, in a much more rigorous way than they ever would with people on board. And that is because it is the first test flight and to make sure that hardware will be up to snuff uh, when those government astronauts do climb on board, uh, hopefully in 2024. Yeah, just thinking back to Apollo 13, some of the stuff they did with it, it seemed a lot faster. But Morgan, thanks. This is really good stuff.